It's another beautiful sunny day here in Florida. We're going fast! Oh man! <laughs> yeah, they know a thing or two in this area about best beaches. <laughs> like a work of art. Oh my god. Wow. The world famous winter. They're saving so many lives here. We're Howard and Caitlin Newstate, full-time adventure seekers who traded city life for RV life. We've been traveling through North America and beyond in our Winnebago Navion since 2018 with our three pups, Piper, Ella, and Scout. Our passion is sharing the wonderful and sometimes challenging parts of our life on the road with you, taking you off the beaten path, meeting interesting people, and trying new things. Each week we bring you along with us to explore unique things about every new state we visit. This week we're on the Gulf Coast of Florida, soaking up all the sun and fun we can. This is part one of a special series showing you St. Pete and Clearwater by land and sea. Did you know that the number one beach in the United States and the number five beach in the world is St. Pete? And we're walking on it right now. It was voted number one recently by TripAdvisor. And part of the reason why is because of its gorgeous white sand, its teal waters, and its super mild temperatures. And we can definitely see the appeal. And it doesn't hurt, the location's great. There's lots of amenities nearby and we're just across the bay from Tampa. But even if you're not a beach person, there is so much to see and do here in the St. Pete and Clearwater area. We're here at the St. Pete Pier, which is not like your normal pier at all. In fact, it's an $80 million entertainment destination featuring tons of restaurants, shops, and beautiful views everywhere you go. It's absolutely incredible. Entertainment destination is definitely the right word for it. There's so much to do. This super cool art installation at the start of the pier is meant to be constantly changing and creating new shapes with the wind. There's over 1.6 million knots in it and it weighs over 5,000 pounds. You could come and spend a whole afternoon or evening here. There's even like a little beach. You've got a marina you can walk around. We're here on a Friday right now and there's vendor market set up so you can walk through and see all the different things that people are selling. They even have hats for dogs. Hi right, guys, it is a very exciting morning here for the New States. We are getting ready to go on a speedboat tour with endless summer water sports, but there's a catch. We are the captains of our own boat. And the further you push this down, the faster you go. Just like a gas pedal in your car, except in a boat, it's in your hand and there are no brakes. So we will have a lead boat in front of us. He's gonna be guiding us and making sure that we stay like the correct distance. And we're gonna go out on the open water and it's a beautiful day. Howard, you're on a boat. I'm on a boat. We could literally do the I'm on a boat talk. Give me a thumbs up nice and high in the air. Just to make sure you all can hear me. Fantastic. Thanks very much. You're only picking up right behind me. Have you ever driven a boat? Uh, yeah. Yeah, but like, definitely never a speedboat. We are going through the no wake zone, so not so much the speed part of the speedboat adventure. We're taking it <laughs> nice and slow, but it's great because you can take in all the views. There's like beautiful homes here. It's really pretty. Okay. But. Caitlin, how do you feel about going fast? Because <laughs> I like this kind of pace. Like, I'm more of the leisurely uh, boater, I would say. Here we go. So 
much fun. That was awesome. That was absolutely awesome. It's very oh, yeah. exhilarating. Never done that before. I've never driven a speedboat. Caitlin has driven many speedboats. <laughs> and this is probably the best speedboat experience you've ever had. That is absolutely correct. Once you get the hang of it, it's always kind of like nerve wracking that first time you take off and then smooth sailing from there. It's about an hour long and we traded off about halfway through. So everybody got to kind of experience what it was like to do like high speed. It was really cool. Having the guide in front of us, like an experienced boater who knows the waters, who knows the etiquette of boating, really helps. I personally would not feel comfortable going out on there, like just renting a boat on my own and going and doing this. Right. I like having that. It's like peace of mind. You're way right down the same channel you saw me coming in at, taking it nice and easy, putting your nose in your boat right at the marina, giving yourself plenty of space off the dock, and then once you get about to me, you're trying to put your nose in your boat right on me. Another beautiful sunny day here in Florida and we are on Clearwater Beach which was voted the US's best beach in both 2018 and 2019. Yeah they know a thing or two in this area about best <laughs> beaches. 2021 it's St. Pete Beach where we were just before. And this is also the grouper capital of the world. Did you guys know that? Because we sure didn't. <laughs> I had no idea but I love grouper and I love a grouper sandwich and what better place to do it than to check out the famous Frenchies right here on the beach. This is perfect. We have a seat right on the beautiful white sand. The ocean's right there. This is great. I could sit here all day. <laughs> wow. This is awesome. First off, we got our ceviche, a grouper Reuben, because why not? On the side, this is lump crab and garlic fries. Uh, what should I start with? I don't know what to do with my hands. What's the verdict? That's delicious. <laughs> it's like loaded fries with crab. I'm gonna jump into the ceviche. This has got uh, red snapper, shrimp, and scallops. And then of course all the citrusy, yummy goodness, cilantro, red onion. Mmm. a big bite. It's very fresh and refreshing. Perfect for a warm Florida day. Okay, so I do want to talk about this grouper Reuben. So they have grouper many different ways, but we saw the grouper Reuben, and we have had grouper Reubens elsewhere before, and it's just a really fun, unique way to enjoy grouper. So it's like a traditional Reuben, except huge pieces of grouper with sauerkraut and Thousand Island, and of course the rye toast. So if you're a Reuben fan, you can up your game with the grouper Reuben. So Caitlin wanted me to cut this in half. You know why? because she claims I'm not good at sharing food. It's true. <laughs> I'll look over and it'll be gone. Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh, look at that sauerkraut. Oh my god. Wow. Damn. It's delicious. I love Rubens anyway. I love grouper. This is like a winning combination for me. Wow. The sand really is this beautiful. Like it's super powdery, white, soft. It's the perfect beach sand. I would come back here. It's so nice to sit out here and enjoy this. It's like a little tropical paradise. I am so excited about our next stop. We are here at the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. I'm standing in front of the brand new dolphin complex. It has five pools and the pool right behind me we have Hemingway and Nick, and then we also have the world famous Winter. If you have seen Dolphin Tail or Dolphin Tail 2, you know who I'm talking about. While the facility does have the word aquarium in its title, the main purpose is actually rescue and rehabilitation of aquatic animals, with the main goal to return as much sea life to the ocean as possible. We met up with Kelsey Long, the director of media relations, who gave us a tour of the facilities, including the Working Animal Hospital, where we saw current patients undergoing rehab, and we even got a sneak peek into the animal feeding room. Resident diets for all the fish, all the rehab diets, and then our resident animals as well. And you can definitely smell the fish in here. Yes. <laughs> I'm in here at 6 a.m. and it's very fishy. <laughs> Most of the animals who are living here at Clearwater Marine Aquarium can't be released back into the wild because of various issues, like Carlos, a blind hogfish who has to be hand-fed, and Rex and Rudy, two rough-toothed dolphins who have hearing loss. 
How is it determined where a dolphin gets placed or if they're releasable or not? National Marine Fisheries determines if they are releasable or not and also where their forever home will be. We are honored that we were chosen to be Rex and Rudy's forever home as well as Winter Hope, PJ, Nicholas, and Hemingway. That's so cool. I had no idea that it was a process like that, but it makes total sense. Yeah, yeah. They, they look at a lot of different things. We have the staff that's knowledgeable about dolphins that have hearing loss. We also have PJ who has hearing loss. So right now we're watching PJ and Hope. And Hope's so cute, she keeps pushing the boogie board with her nose. And then one of them was playing with this cone here. It's really fun to watch. And we also have the space now. Uh, with opening our new pools to, to care for these additional dolphins. This past summer, CMA unveiled a project 14 years in the making, a brand new 1.5 million gallon dolphin complex. And when you come downstairs, there is this massive viewing window that is 41 feet wide by 16 feet high, and it's 12 inches thick. And you get amazing views of the dolphins down here. It is one of the largest uh, whole viewing windows in North America. Oh my goodness. It's just one amazing part of an $80 million expansion that's enhancing both the guest and animal experience at the aquarium. Throughout the lower level, there are tons of these interactive exhibitions, so you can learn more about the individual dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> the sounds they make. <laughs> and even meet them in person. The new dolphin habitat is now the forever home for movie star Winter and the other resident dolphins. I know you've been inspired as I have been by the lives that have been touched. When a child comes to this facility and sees Winter without her tail and they are missing a limb and you can tell that they are changed. Winter, the now famous star of Dolphin Tale and Dolphin Tale 2, which were filmed here at the aquarium, has inspired so many through her incredible story of overcoming adversity. Winter was found in 2005 when she was just two months old. She had gotten tangled in a crab trap line, cutting circulation to her tail, which she later lost. With the help of the incredible team at CMA and a prosthetics and orthotics team, Winter became the first dolphin in the world to use a prosthetic tail to help her swim. She wears it during physical therapy sessions and has become an inspiration to children and adults across the globe. Got a program that goes on 365 days throughout the year. So if you are a family member, are suffering for something or if you connect with winter or any of our animals you're always welcome to come here and we'll give you a special tour walk you around and it's also before hours so a lot of our inspired families are immunocompromised uh -huh. um, and so we give them that opportunity to come here before we have guests as you walk throughout the aquarium you'll see cameras some of them are security cameras but a lot of them are web cameras so our fans throughout the country can go on and see and watch winter and pj and hope Guys, all the stuffed animals are in little rescue stretchers. Isn't that cute? Howard, I think I'm gonna need a couple of these. We need one for Piper, one for Ella, one for Scout, one for Kayla. Okay? He says no. Howard, Winter's tail comes off. How sweet is that? I love her. So if there's two things to describe us, it's cocktails and fresh fish. One of the cool things about Trophy is that we would like to be a fresh seafood environment in downtown. So you come in, boom, it's centered around a craft cocktail bar and then a fish shack. And this is exactly what you would think if you were in the Keys or the Cape or a little boat town. And then our fresh fish that we bring in, our chef cuts, prepares it daily. It's never been frozen. We always do two, changes every single day. So today is mahi and American red snapper. Tomorrow might be triple tail, a tile fish, grouper. You know, it really depends on what's in the water. Most people say fresh catch, but we say day boat fresh because it literally from that day came off of the boat. And then our DNA is craft cocktails because we have, have Mandarin High, which is the original craft cocktail bar in St. Pete, for our brother company. That's what you see right here. So since cocktails are your thing, we have to try some cocktails. So what do you recommend? So I would say be well-rounded. We'd go with the fin and tonic, one of our most popular cocktails. And not only because it's beautiful, but it's actually very refreshing and delicious. 
What's really neat about that is we take our lemon, limes, and orange, we peel them, we zest them in the glass, put them in there for look and flavor. But what we do is we reuse that citrus. So once those citrus are completely peeled, then we cut them and dehydrate them. Our executive chef takes that and turns it into a citrus seasoning. So we repurpose as much as possible. Our flavors really transcend from the bar to the kitchen to your plate. All right, so I have the pistachio mai tai Yay. and the fin and tonic. All right. They're Look beautiful. At, it's amazing, right? Yes. And enjoy and head up to the fish shack and order your fresh catch. Awesome, thank you thank so you. much. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh. Wow. I almost feel bad drinking them because they're so beautiful. It's like <laughs> a work of art. So when you come up to the fish shack, mm. you've got your menu here. How does it work? You're going to select the fish. Then would you like it with our house-made citrus rub that I just spoke about, our blackened seasoning, or our herb crusted? So the next step, how would you like that on a plate? on a salad or a sandwich. And then you pick your two sides. The vibe really is that cool. Like, we could just come here and hang out and I think enjoy this for hours. Like, it's so nice. We've got these tall uh, shrubs that run completely around the property. So when you're inside, it's like you're transported to an island oasis. It does kind of feel like that. Like, the fish shack, the bar area, it feels like you're on an island. Smoked fish with amberjack and Clams and corn, can't go wrong. So this is the amberjack that was smoked in that smoker that we saw right over there, and it's incredible. I'm excited for you to try this. Clams and corn is delicious. It's actually a really great combo. I would never think that corn and clams would go well together. They really do. It's kind of like a low country boil. I guess I would also describe it. You know, because you're getting that seafood with the corn. This is some of the best smoked fish spread that I have ever had. All right, so we have the American Red Snapper with a in-house made citrus rub, rosemary, crispy potatoes, and a delicious vegetable medley. I'm gonna dig in. What she said. <laughs> I'm eating it. Mmm. Oh wow, you guys we're quiet right now because it's so good. This is absolutely amazing, the flavor combos. It's important to point out that the snapper is day boat fresh, um, nothing is fried, because let's be honest, why would you take a beautiful fresh filet and then batter and fry it? <laughs> because you're gonna miss out on the whole flavor characteristic of a fresh fish. And you don't wanna miss out, this is so good, it's delicious. We headed back to Clearwater, where every night they celebrate one of the best parts of life on the beach, sunset. At Pier 60, you'll find vendors, musicians, entertainers, and more for this nightly celebration. So we walked out on the pier, and there's all kinds of vendors, and we saw one that was perfect for New State Nomads. They are custom license plate signs, so we're going to get New State with a bunch of different random uh, license plates from all the different states. Hawaii, Arkansas, veteran plate, Florida, and Montana. Perfect. Oh, look at that. I love it. It's going to look so good in the RV. All the new states that we've explored. Right. We've had so much fun exploring St. Pete and Clearwater and showing you all the fun water activities there are to do. But our next episode will be all about exploring the land of St. Pete and yeah, Clearwater. I can't wait to show you. If you want to check out more of our Florida adventures, just click this playlist right here.